Welcome back everybody to The Witcher 3 and we ha have been looking for this Dr. Moreau's tomb or lab and we have found it and we have found that he's found a way to enhance mutations so currently we're looking for a way to find out how he's done that and hopefully do it ourselves. Um, so we've got a few things that we need to do which is finding the crystals, finding the missing two crystals um, to put in a megascope there to listen to his journal or notes um, and then finding a giant centipede's egg which we will. Uh, right, there's a crystal. So as per usual, if you guys have been enjoying the series so far, don't forget to continue hitting that like this button man didn't come here and willingly. subscribe if you haven't, and I will keep these coming for you. Um, Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Moreau must have kept his son in here. Grim. the other crystal. Preserved organs. But their donors weren't forced to give them up. Oh, there's another portal here. I'm imagining that's how we go and find the centipede. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. No, it's not. The cave here, so assuming that's where the centipedes will be. There we Just go. Just need to pick an entry. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Ooh. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did, in a sense, come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Hey. Seen enough. And now the only thing left to do is find these uh, centipedes. Imagining that will be insectoid oil. Yeah. Oh, 
See any eggs here? However, let's just have a look. Insectoids, perfect.
sides. Oh, I see something shiny in there. Interesting U turn. No point going in wearing full gear. Gotta drop my armor, leave my weapons. Drop my armor, leave my weapons. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Oh, gosh. How do I know if it worked? Oh, there we go. See? I need ability points to be able to do this. get dressed again. Here we go. Thing is, there's still that crate in there that needs a key, but I didn't find a key, so. Yeah. I, I wanna. I want it to be daytime again.
not going to meet Regis just yet. Oh, interesting, there's no marker here. Huh. I'm gonna go here though, because be a marker there. saw the things on the other side so find them up. over there, okay. Just, just I came here, but the marker didn't show up. I'm quite sure I actually came through here. So armor up there actually. Cheers, howdy to in need of anything. Mind if I glance at your stock? Mind if I glance at your stock? Um, so that. These seem to go for quite a lot of money. Same deck I do.
Hmm. That spy. Well, yeah, that spy. I'll bring him back. Oh. <laughs> of course. Should be able to win this one. Yeah, unless you've got a 18 card, power 18, and you're not going to this one. Even that. Unbeatable market. Preferential financing from the chat for any of every arm of purchase. Andrew Munchell named Blade of Maiden. I've got a lot of side quests to do, um, and there's still some of those notice boards that we haven't actually looked at yet, so I'm going to have to travel over to them at some point. Jesus, but it was terrible. There's another in here. Oh, was it not? Oh, it's under. Nice tune. My prices are the best beside the sommelier, so not even Greetings. an innkeeper. Rather grand, there we go. Show me where you go. Ah, damn it, he's got no Gwent cards, unfortunately. Care for a round? Oh, 
almost got enough in the Skellige deck. Which is the deck he's got. I won. Exhibition is closed. What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Wait. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Yeah. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument? The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? Okay. The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. I do not quite remember what this is all about. But, let's see. Oh! Here it is! Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Okay. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Hmm. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. 
I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Only <laughs> Reginald, don't worry. Oh, you shall be saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Oh, hello. Dried blood stain. It will all work out. It must. Oh, there's something here. Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Don't worry, Rich. One more! And another two! I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. It's no disaster, not like a frontal lobotomy. You'd best behave, Fred. You're in Beauclair, see? It's difficult to see it with how bright it is outside. door okay <laughs> Ooh, sorry to interrupt I guess uh, uh, this uh, this is not what it seems <laughs> word of honor I, I, I tripped rolled and tumbled and landed where she already lay yeah yeah Psst. Jules, that's not him. I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> that's not my husband. <laughs> you mean, not, not your husband? Who are you, and why are you in my home? Out now, or I'll summon the guards. Watch your tone, Gramps. Just here to talk. I, uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. Cut the bullshit, Hughes. You stole Reginald's testicles. Know that already. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Uh, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin skeleton! What the love's this? Rosalinta! One I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <sighs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. 
Yes, that'll be best. I, I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right, I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will... Three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire lost decade. All the oh. same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. Perhaps I... I could lend them to you. For one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You for deal, sir. let them keep them because they do bring hope to everybody else so oh Jesus don't need to be that loud about it that the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest last time. Here, you must take the testes <laughs> and let Bioda grant your strength, as I dare say you will need it. Banquets and wine. Our brothers to the witches not nearly as nasty as they are. Lepiotus wheezing lungs. Yeah, I can't say this is the. Uh, <laughs> this is an interesting quest. I'm gonna go around to recover some statues, festivals. Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus, luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. <laughs> and look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Hi. Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. It's quite funny. Uh, right, so... Do you need to, uh... Where's home sweet home? In a place like home. I'm gonna go check out my home. Have I been there already? Can I fast travel to it? I can indeed, so... Uh. 
Yeah, I don't imagine there's going to be a lot to do in this particular quest, so let's do it while, we, while it's there. That's what I want to do. Hang on a minute, I think this is, um, I think we get to restore a house. Am I, am I confusing it with something else? Go, yeah, Roach, you have your little home now. Yeah, I think we do. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair, went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, Misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Okay. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Okay. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. <coughs> Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasure. 
Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Turn steadily! My Camillac aches something fierce! Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted, and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Sure, go on. Drink up. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest, aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. I Marvelous. I have to try it one of these days. Brett adds a spring. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about guests attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains, and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Hmm. Monsieur Bolius's wife, Nina, kept a garden here. Oh, a supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again, planting it with herbs and other vegetation. <coughs> Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Follow me, please. It's a long tour. for all that work a crook in your back what this served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests hmm. bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for roach mm -hmm. exactly what i thought the cellars voila during Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the um, mess, which... I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it, a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Follow me, please. Are you getting into the house? And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. 
On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. But one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Yep. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Five thousand. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Uh, maybe we can do some work on got these well. spacious grounds. I think I've got enough money. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh, yes, we certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Only Good. Okay. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? And yeah, of course. As well. and so of course. Will you be need? Know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. I shall be glad to. Question. There's no other question. Thanks.
Right, so we have now got our house in the process of being restored. So we're going to have to wait a few days for that to actually take place and we'll see what the results have been. So before we do that and continue with any other quests, I'm going to be bringing this to a close and we will continue in the next one. Um, so for now, stay safe and well everybody and if you've enjoyed this part, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And with that said, I will be seeing you in the next one.